Oh, what is up, Togs? We made our way out into what is one of the worst roads here in my hometown. Somehow we always find our way out here. When I'm just wandering and, and making videos, I just end up on this road. It's, it's kind of stupid, actually. I should know by now whether or not I'm on, uh, my brain is on cruise control and I'm just riding to, so that I can talk. I should know by now, do not turn on this road. Leave it in the comments, what is the worst road in your town and what makes it the worst road? Uh, I guess the, the caveat is you can't put like a, a dirt road because those aren't, I don't think those are built to so that cars and motorcycles can ride on them safely. Uh, just, it's gotta be paved. That's the only caveat to this, uh, for you to, to make a mention of your worst roads. What's up guys? We got somebody up here with a full fairing sport bike. It's like maybe a 600. I am riding my 1290 Super Duke R out for a, a, a ride at uh, sunset slash dusk. The sun is about to set and uh, one of my favorite times to ride because it's cooling down yet you still have a good amount of sunlight or a good, enough sunlight to feel safe out here. But today I have something uh, specific to talk to you guys about and it's funny that we, we found another guy riding out here today uh, because he's got he's riding a, a bike that's a little bit different than mine, a little different style. And I myself ride, uh, uh, also ride a 1200 uh, Roadster, a Harley Davidson 2002. And so, you know, I like my varieties of motorcycles. I, there, I don't feel like there is a best bike out there. I've actually made a video on that and I'll, I'll link it right up here so you guys, if you want to watch that, you can go to it. I, I find the merit and I find the beauty in all uh, types of two-wheeled machines. And so, uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys specifically about, and those especially of you that are new riders, looking for your first motorcycle, maybe thinking, oh, which one's the best bike for me? Uh, and what I wanted to talk about today is whether or not you should consider style in your first motorci motorcycle. Now there are definitely those who are un in the school of thought that your first bike just needs to be a beater motorcycle. Something that you can beat up, that you can drop, and it's not going to be a big deal if you drop it. And I'm all about that. I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree that uh, you should find a bike that <laughs> you're not gonna cry tears of sorrow when you drop the thing because everybody does it. Everybody drops their bike, whether or not it's early on or later, you're gonna do it. And so there's consideration in whether or not you should, you should care about what your first bike looks like. Um, now there's two different things when we talk about style. We talk about your preference on the way a bike looks, and also the type of motorcycle that you're gonna ride. Um, I wanna talk about the way that the bike looks. Now there are definitely uh, things to consider when you're talking about the type of bike that you're gonna ride as your first motor motorcycle. Uh, whether it be a dual sport, whether it be a cruiser, whether it be a sport bike, whether it be a touring motorcycle, these are all things that you wanna consider. But today I wanna talk specifically, and I will, we're gonna get vain here, I know. Uh, whether or not it matters what your bike looks like. And my short answer to this is 100% yes, it does matter what your bike looks like. Uh, now, there are definitely people out there, and my, my wife is actually one of them, that the look of something doesn't, uh, isn't their, their first concern, especially with a motorcycle. Her first concern is safety, right? So making sure that she's got engine guards on her first bike, uh, or crash bars, uh, you know, making sure that she can get both feet firmly on the ground. Those are things that you definitely want to consider. But she, when I, we talk about getting her her first bike, and I say, how about this bike? Would you consider that one for your first bike? She, she goes, no, I don't really like that color. And so even though her first thing isn't the way a bike looks, it it's inevitably going to be something that you're going to think about when you buy a bike. So th 
this is why my answer is 100% yes, it matters what your bike looks like, the style of your bike. It matters because you have to uh, take pride in your machine. Now when I say you have to, you know, what, what I'm trying to say is that if you pick a bike that that you're not in love with the way it looks or the way it feels or when you get off the bike and you're walking away you don't want to turn around and get one more look in before you go inside uh, you're gonna get bored right the joy of riding can take you so far but I'm just one of those people where as much as I love to ride and get out here and enjoy the open road I I absolutely like have a almost weird thing about how much I love the way that both my Super Duke and my Roadster look. Uh, they're, they're just nice looking bikes and uh, it's like, it's that whole thing where you, or you turn the garage light off, go inside, and then you open the garage one more time, turn the light back on so you can get one last look before uh, you call it a day. It's that thing, right? Uh, so, I did that, that, I did that thing, that exact same thing when I bought my first motorcycle. My first motorcycle was a 1985 Yamaha Radiant. And that thing was, I mean, it was an old bike at the time. It was uh, 25 years old. It was an older bike and I knew, should I drop it? Which I absolutely did. Uh, that it was gonna be okay. I wasn't gonna, you know, be like, oh crap, now my bike doesn't look perfect anymore. Or now it's got a scratch or a dent in the tank or, uh, you know, the fairings uh, uh, have uh, scratches on them. I, I was gonna be okay and I was okay and this is something that you need to come to grips with, right? But at the same time, you want to take pride in your machine. Now, this is something maybe that because I grew up, my dad loved classic cars. Uh, he had a friend who uh, used to restore classic uh, 1950s Chevys, and we would go there all the time. And he'd be, you know, be, be waxing his cars and, and shining them, and, and uh, take great, great care of them. You know, making them immaculate, taking them to car shows and such. Uh, and you know, it was what something that, even though we didn't have a really nice car growing up. Uh, I felt the same way about our cars growing up. When my dad would have me wash our car, my uh, family's car, you know, he showed me how to definitely make sure that you got every single spot and how how to, to find those spots before uh, you go through uh, kind of the final touches. You know, waxing it if, if that was if that was the case at the time. Uh, and and so. Maybe uh, you have to have kind of like that background. You have to have that, that pride in uh, and your vehicles to, to be in that same boat as me. Uh, but I'm definitely interested. Maybe you didn't grow up that way, but you still take that pride in your bike. Uh, and so I will tell you without a doubt, for me, in my, in my opinion, it 100% matters the style of bike that you choose to ride as your first bike. Find that bike that is the perfect mix of, of style, safety, uh, and value. Because like I said, even though you might love the way your first bike looks, I can know this from experience, I know this from other riders that have said the same thing, uh, that first bike, you're gonna outgrow it after a while. Especially if you end up on a bike, uh, like a 250cc bike, or uh, you know, a tiny, a small little cruiser, you're gonna outgrow it. You're gonna feel like, okay, you know, I'm ready for the next, the next step, the next phase in your riding evolution. So that is my opinion. I would love to hear your guys. So make sure if you have a uh, something to say about this topic, leave that down in the uh, in the comments below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I'm that one guy. And I am out.